Hey my loves, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot, here with a new series. This is from the Lord Give Me a Sign uh, series. Now, if you don't know, this, is re this series is replacing the Intuitive Fridays, okay, and the Intuitive Weeklies. Um, because I couldn't post on the dates like I needed to, I just dropped the title altogether, okay. Um, now, another thing you need to know is that, first of all, I do this elementally, and each reading, I tackle three areas of your life, okay? So I'm going to talk about your love life, I'm going to talk about your money and your finances, and then I'm going to talk about your career employment situation, okay? Um... This is definitely only going to really resonate very strongly with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, sun signs, or rising signs, okay? I guess it's just a habit to say sun, moon, or rising, but the truth of the matter is I have never seen the moon signs resonate as strongly as, say, the sun sign as well as the rising sign, Okay? I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. I'm sitting here losing my mind. I'm, I'm thinking I can hear you guys thinking and, and having certain messages. So hopefully I can answer those messages, all right? Now, if you're feeling glad to, definitely share the video, okay? It's going to be quite interesting because I keep getting stopped. So I'm trying to actually hear. It's very hard to talk whenever you get messages through your ears, okay? I got on the AirPods, and I'm trying to hear the messages at the same time. So it's kind of like freezing me in my tracks, okay? But I'm all good. It's, everything is all good. All right, so this is going to resonate with those of you that are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for the week of December 8th, moving into the 15th. I'm going to try to get this done every week. Uh, definitely comment in my comment section, and let me know if you guys enjoy it. Okay. All right, here we go. Spirit of the Universe, what are the messages you have for my air signs? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun and Rising. In the first position, I need to know strictly what's going on in their love life. Um, what they can change as well in their love life in order to uh, bring about ultimate happiness. In the second position, I need to take a look at their finances and see where they currently seat, see where they're currently seated in their finances, and if there's something they can do in order to uh, make it better, their finances. And in the third position, I want to speak about their career, okay, the jobs they have, the entrepreneurship. Um, if it's a good time to break into the industry of entrepreneur, or should they still uh, stay at the job they're at, or if they should move. I can see that in the third position. Okay. Okay, here we go, y'all. <clears throat> this should be interesting. Because I keep stopping, I keep listening, I'm just nebby. Okay, here we go. First card out. The stars. Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, Under the Stars, now remember these three is talking about your love life, okay, so speaking about your money, first card, Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords, justice now the three cards speaking about your fun uh, where your career what you should do about that should you quit should you move the devil the two of wands the 
Ten of Cups. I don't know what's going on with this screen. There we go. Okay. So let me move these up so we can talk about it. There's some harsh kind of, these are some harsh words, harsh, harsh cards. For my Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, the Two of Swords. This is the overall energy that you guys are working with. Maybe that's why I'm lost. Like, I feel like loopy brain, like almost lost. Okay. And right up under that is the Five of Swords. I, I knew it's just some hard energy. All right. So, listen, the way that I do this is I'm going to discuss each topic. Okay. And as I discuss each topic, the Two of Swords would be the overall energy and how it's affecting um, the energies around you. Okay, so these are not like bad energies. This is more so like the goal that you're trying to get to. All right. Now, the energy that would be considered bad or opposing would be the Five of Swords. And this is what keeps you from getting uh, that what it is that you seek when it comes to these three different topics. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So. Um, let's get to it. The star, six of swords, and the ten of swords. All right, now, usually when I get fog brain or I get stopped before I'm going to do a reading or even with the cards in front of me, the reason why that happens is because something is not good. Like it, there's some bad energy that is centered around you, all right? So in those first three cards, this is speaking about your love life, okay? your love life and getting away from energy that no longer suits you okay but just also having that fear like have you ever been with someone that you love very much so but when you're with this individual they make you feel as if they you can't let them go you know like almost feeling like you're going to suffer a bit if you let this individual go well, with the stars, the six of swords, and the ten of swords, spirit is trying to allow you to break free from this individual, letting you know that brighter days are ahead of you, okay? But somebody who's been through so much, who constantly keeps going through problem after problem after problem, they're afraid. They're afraid to let go of what they've become accustomed to or what they've gotten used to, all right? You've become accustomed or you've gotten used to this certain individual even though they treat you bad even though they've cheated on you they've hurt you you still feel comfortable in the devil you know versus the devil you don't know okay now let me look at this because i want to try to get a little bit more energy information especially on that stars and the ten of swords break me down on that stars the stars card eight of cups The Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Okay? Now, hold on. This is harsh energy. Clarify that Ten of Swords for me. Will of Fortune. Mm. Okay, air sign. We got Bull, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Mm. That's hard energy there. Very difficult energy. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get to it. I honestly feel like I'm dealing with male energy. Okay, male energy. Um, this is someone who's an air sign. You could probably be uh, an Aquarius. Um, you could also be a Libra individual. I don't see too much with Gemini getting into this type of energy. All right? Because this kind of energy kind of represents a very toxic situation, a toxic relationship. Okay, um, having multiple baby mothers, uh, that sort of thing, uh, being quite abusive, okay, um, but ultimately reaping what you sow, okay? Now listen, remember I told you about that two of swords and what you can't see, like brighter days being ahead of you, okay? Um, listen to what I'm telling you. Whoever this baby, you got two different, it looked like you have two different like a wife and a child's mother or like um, uh, two women that are pregnant at the same time. It could be some shit like that, okay?
okay? Looking at that Ten of Swords, there is some sort of juggling act that's going on between a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus, Capricorn. You get it? There's a juggling act that's going on between these two individuals, okay? So with that Wheel of Fortune being there, it kind of says that you keep traveling back and forth between these two women, and it causes great pain, uh, deception with that Ten of Swords, okay? Um, they never know where it's going. However, we got the Eight of Cups, the Empress, Queen of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords on the stars. This is symbolic of one of these individuals, one of your baby mama's girlfriends, something like that, moving on and and going after someone else. And this could involve finances, taking her finances with them, especially with that Queen of Pentacles being there because we already established that um, we got a Taurus and a Pisces or, or a Scorpio and a, and a Capricorn, you know, that sort of energy, okay? But then we have the Eight of Cups. This person moves on. So, you know what? It could even be that you have a, a your, one of your baby's moms or your ex-wife or something like that is going to move on, get into a new relationship with an earth sign. And this situation is causing great distress. It's causing distress because it's kind of like you feel like you're reaping what you sow. You knew that you haven't treated that person very well. So now they're leaving you for someone else. They're giving you a taste of your own medicine, okay? Um, and, and, and from the looks of it, this empress is very much sure about moving away from uh, the toxicity that you bring into their relationship, okay? But at the same time, even though they're sure about moving forward, it doesn't make it easier. It, it doesn't say that, you know... Um, they're 100% feeling comforted. And they probably don't even let this type of information out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like a woman who you, your baby's father treated you so freaking bad. He's always hurt you or devastated you. And then now he's moving on to, I mean, now she's moving on. Wait, I'm sorry. We're talking about the woman. It speaks of your baby's father treating you really, really bad. And now you're moving forward with someone else, okay? Now, with the Six of Swords, that's kind of tricky, okay? In the middle of the cards that it's in the middle of. T the Stars and the Ten of Swords. You're skeptical about moving out of this toxic situation because you're afraid you're going to recreate that. That makes sense? Okay? You you're afraid. There's a fear there. Because, I mean, we, we have that Six of Swords double. We have two of them. All right, so that kind of says that, yes, I'm moving forward, but I am afraid because this is all I know, and I don't want to get the same type of energy. You may have a problem attracting uh, the same type of man into your life, okay? So you need to look that up and look at why um, you're getting into relationships with these uh, abusive situations. It, it looks, he, he looks abusive, I'm not going to lie, okay? Uh, break me down on that King of Cups. Let me see that king of cups. The magician and this. Yeah. This is the water sign that's going to move on. Okay. The water sign. Scorpio Pisces. Clarify that king of uh, pentacles. The two of cups. See? Hold on. Four of wands. All right. So this is, listen, I'll even go as far as saying this. Whoever you are, air sign, I told you, you have two baby mamas or a wife and a baby mama, something like that. Um, it looks like the water sign is the one that's going to be leaving you. All right. The water sign. She'll be moving on and she'll probably be moving towards a, a earth sign. Okay. That's one situation like a Taurus or a Virgo or something like that. She may be moving towards. Um, but at the same time, it kind of looks like um, she's more so moving in that direction because she wants more. You know, like for her future, okay? Because it's the magician with the Ten of Pentacles. Right now, things could be really hot for her. Like in, like in terms of like financially. I've seen this story before. I can't, I can't remember where I've seen it, but I, I feel like I've read this before. Um, but it, it actually came to pass now. Like I, I may have seen it a little bit too soon, like months ago. I feel like I talked about this before. But um. 
it's really hot for her right now. Like, this is the moment, like, you know, she might be hot in social media or, like, a celebrity-type status or something like that. And she has no choice but to act or to strike while the urn is hot, okay? If she missed this opportunity to move forward because it looks like the guy that she's going to move forward with, it probably won't be her forever. It's a distraction. It's kind of like spirit throwing her um, a bone to be able to go after. But there's more of a deeper concept that she can't see yet. You know what I'm saying? Like she'll probably go towards this individual, but she can't see that spirit kind of led her in that direction in order to... Um, help her with her career or help her with her child something like that okay now i feel like um you air sign uh aquarius libra gemini uh for you it looks like you're going to be in a relationship with uh the taurus or or taurus or capricorn sorry you'll be in a relationship with that taurus or capricorn um it kind of like says that you guys might live together we got the two of cups with the four of wands uh, maybe you may start to recognize just how uh, how supportive this person has been to you um, especially you know it, it, it just looks like you're choosing between two women or like the choice already been made for you <laughs> uh, it, maybe that's it the choice already been made for you and it's kind of like I don't know why you take this Capricorn Taurus for granted because it looks like they stay with you through everything you know you may be upset or um, trying to even prevent this water sign from moving away into a new relationship. It's, it looks like you want your cake and you want to eat it too. Okay? That's never a good thing. You need to let this person go. We c now, I say you look like you want your cake and you want to eat it too. The Five of Swords is here. So it kind of looks like, you know, um, you might be playing both women. You might be telling one woman, you know, I don't really want to be with her. I love you. You know, when you're not in front of her and then when you're in front of the other one, say the same fucking shit. You know what I mean? But all this looks like it's going to pour out on you. It probably already poured out on you. Like it, it came to a head and it's been exposed. And that's the thing, just the ammunition that that water sign needed in order to leave. Uh, because the Eight of Cups would say that she invested a lot of her, you know, you, I know this energy. I'm, I'm trying to really break it down because I know this energy. It's, it's kind of like when you get to a point, you've shown a person everything about yourself. Like you've shown them how much you love them. Like, like you, it, it's like when you get to the point of, of exposing everything about yourself, there's nothing else left. So if that man doesn't take you for who you are or he doesn't respect you at this point it's like well fuck it i gotta go because there's nothing else i have you've seen every part of me you know <laughs> it looked like maybe that water sign have shown every part of her like every part of herself and now she has absolutely nothing left and she come to the realization that if he don't love me by now you know i hear that song if you don't know me by now then you'll never know me what is that Harold and the Blue Notes, if you don't know me, but I think that's Harold Melvin, uh, uh, what is that, Mel, Harold and, Mer Melvin and the Blue Notes, some shit, anyway, but it's called If You Don't Know Me By Now, okay, um, that song is playing in my ear, okay, so I feel like this water sign needed to go, I feel like she should take this opportunity, it may look like a relationship that she's going after, but tricky 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 you got to watch the universe especially with that five of swords you got to watch them because they are tricky and i speak about the universe i'm speaking of your angels you know your team of officials who create these playgrounds for you in order for you to uh get to what it is that you asked you know like they, they sit they set things up in order to get you to where you're supposed to be and they're not above the trickery okay making it look like you're gonna fall in love and be with this person forever just to get you away from this toxic individual you know they put you with this other individual who you think you're gonna be with for the rest of your life and they're just there to make you stronger to walk away from your last one all right that's i'm telling you to watch out for that because that's crazy okay now 
as far as um, air sign, you got an earth sign individual, I would advise you to uh, reinvest yourself in that relationship because it doesn't look like you're going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, um, I just more so told you about what's going on with that water sign because it, it's tormenting you and you need to know. Like, it, it's tormenting you. You can't sleep. You're not telling anyone about this, how bad you're hurting, but um, the truth of the matter is I, I just had to tell you about what was going on with this other individual and to let you know it is over. Like, you will never be able to um, reconcile with that water sign not no time soon why i say that well because she's where you she's where you're not mentally like like her mind is on business and being successful like and you're more so worried about how you look to the outside world or playing games so not anytime soon I don't think you guys will be getting back together. However, the earth sign is still there. Okay, so at least you still got one left. All right, moving on to your finances, air signs. We have the ace of wands, the queen of swords, and justice. Um, this definitely speaks of you're going to have some issues in terms of finances. While the ace of wands would speak about a new creative endeavor that you put yourself involved in, um, or like a new opportunity, it's only a seed. And I don't think that it's going to pop much. I'm going to tell you why. I feel like your your finances is caught up in legal situations, okay? Um, stemming from your bad temper, uh, maybe the way you treat people, maybe even hurting someone, okay? It looks like your, your finances may be caught up in lawyer fees, you know, trying to keep you from jail, that sort of shit like it's harsh energy you know especially with that two of swords it's like you don't know if you're gonna go to jail for the rest of your life so you i want to see this ace of wands because you could be quite desperate even like <sighs> clarify this ace of wands for um air sign let me see what does that mean as far as their finances the world Ooh, six of pentacles fuck's sake that's karma that is karma that could be the end of your reign I hate to say it but it kind of looks like um, someone is it, someone is reaping what they sow and you didn't sow very well so you need to be what it, shit clarify the queen of swords for me I don't, I'm trying not to say no bad things, but look, oh, fuck, I can't even help it because it's like there, I, I'm, I was trying to jump around this, but I know I have to include this five of swords on this queen of swords and, and though, you know, you guys may look at me and be like, well, Bella, that don't sound good. I don't want to hear it. Well, shit. What the fuck you want me to do, Linda? Shit. I'm reading this shit. I'm trying to figure out how to, um, say it. In the nicest way possible. And spirit is like, uh-uh. Say, say it the way we told you. <laughs> the five of swords or the queen of swords. And this is the way, this is your karma. You know, uh, what's coming back to haunt you. Can I see that situation? Let me see that five of swords energy. Let me see what happened there. Eight of swords. Tell me more. The moon. Eight of swords. Moon. Okay, give me a little bit more. Swords and Moon. Cancer Pisces. I don't know. You did somebody wrong. A water sign individual. Wrong as fuck. Excuse my language. I gotta stop cussing. I want my views to go up, but I cuss so much. I gotta stop cussing. Pray for me, y'all. Um, this is horrible. Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Queen of Cups. This this water sign is like over your karma. I almost want to tell you the same thing that I told Earth signs as far as be careful because you never know when angels are there, when you're entertaining angels. That's in your Bible. Um, 
something is wrong. Uh, let me tell you what it is. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna just go there. Fuck it. Uh, just screw it. Watch my mouth. I need to bleep this out. Where's the bleep button? <laughs> I would never get a message done. It'd be bleeping every two seconds. Okay, so listen. This is what spirit is telling me. At one time, this air sign was given power. They was given power. They was given the ability to control a situation. And instead of cherishing that thing that the universe gave them, instead of protecting that thing that the universe gave them, they destroyed it. They kept them blind. Tried to anyway. Tried to make them feel down. And I'm talking about this water sign. This Cancer or Pisces. Whoever that is. Um, you, you lied to them. And you told them. The world is so scary out there. And nobody else is going to want you. And you destroyed this individual. And for that. God wants a sacrifice. Well, they say the streets need a body. <laughs> For that, uh, listen, Linda, you're going to pay. You are going to pay, and it's not going to be nothing nice. Okay? I told you what it looks like to me. It looks like the beginning of a fall. So, I told you, just the same way I told you that the universe will organize a situation just to get a person away from you. Meanwhile, you ain't never going to be with the person. You know, they dangle a carrot over your face, make you think that that's what you're about to get, and then you'll walk for years and years and then find out you don't have it at all. Well, it looks like they did that, but they did that with a very volatile situation. I think that there are those of you that are losing lots of money. You owe a lot of money for this... Whatever this uh, fine is, it could shit. I've seen people do murder. It can be murder. It could be a murder case you're fighting. Um, yeah. It could be a murder case that you're fighting. It can be a, a fight in which somebody got really hurt. And they're seeking damages. And, it, and what they say, they're seeking finances and damages. And you owe them. You gonna pay up. You will lose that. Sorry to tell you that. If that is you, for some of you, you know it might not even be that harsh. But those of you that got that story I just talked about, beware. All right, let me, let me go into one more thing. Um, for those of you that's not resonating with that story, as far as your finances is concerned, that's what I want to tell you. Uh, if I'm dealing with Gemini. Libra, it looks like you're in school right now, okay? You're in school and you're trying to figure out, what do I do? Do I go for art? Do I go for music? Which is art. I think that you should ultimately go for whatever it is that you want. I'm going to tell you why. I was going to say maybe go for law with this justice card, but this is not always law. The reason I'm saying go for whatever it is you want, because I honestly feel like eventually you're going to end up in a music industry or modeling or something. We can't escape this. Like, you can't escape that two of swords and that five of swords, okay? So even if your story didn't resonate with that first thing, it's still energy that you're going to deal with because you're an air sign. Okay, so um, I would tell you this. This is what I'm going to tell you. I would go into the music industry. You're going to go into an industry where there is a lot of competition. There's a lot of snakes in the grass that you're going to have to watch. Okay? Don't miss the moments where spirit is trying to teach you the consequences of trusting people. Don't miss those moments. So what I mean is, um, don't take it for granted and then forget all about it. 
the reason I'm telling you that because what I see uh, for some of you because this looks like a music industry I'm not gonna lie to you um, what I see for you is you might like to sing I see like singing or, or it could be modeling too because it looks like a multiple career like a, um, but in the arts so maybe you start off singing but then you're very pretty and tall and then you have a lean built so you go into the modeling career I'm telling you this don't be quick to sign just yet don't be quick to sign make sure you read the fine print or make sure you get a lawyer to read over it because yes there is going to be a lot of fuckery in your deal that you couldn't see coming because of the way things are worded okay that's the best advice I can give you moving forward as far as your finances and career okay as of right now you don't see no money. You're in school right now. Don't worry. You got a setup coming. Okay? Spirit's going to set you up. And when they do, gracefully walk into it. But when it comes down to signing your name on a dotted line, anything dealing with the industry, you know, uh, striking a deal with someone, you better read the fine print. Okay? Don't come back talking about, Bella, you told me to sign it and I'm fucked up. Mm-mm. That's not what I told you. What I told you is to get a lawyer to look over it. I told you there will be some snakery in that deal. Yes, it's there. It's imminent. You cannot, you cannot get away from it. But I'm telling you, just read it. Okay? Because I do see you will make it in the uh, music career, music industry, and modeling. Okay? Those are the two areas that you're going to really excel at. And who knows, you may become a millionaire. Call Bella Dutch. Make sure you tip my ass, okay? When you become a millionaire. All right, yeah. We got the devil, two of wands, ten of cups. This is about control issues. Control, all right? Um, this could be, uh, th this is, you know how foul this is? I'm going to tell you how foul this is. This is foul because it kind of says, like, when you're involved with your family, like when you make money with your family, when you work for your husband, or your husband works for your dad, <laughs> that type of shit, you know, like, being controlled, you get your money through the family, whatever the family got going on, okay? The two of wands is here. I'm going to tell you what the two of wands is trying to make out and tell you. The two of wands says that with this devil energy, there's been too much wickedness and control. Too much wickedness and control in that. The two of wands would tell you to venture outside of the family outside of family not the family anymore okay not the family i would not do anything else with the family as far as um working with your i'm not saying all people got to worry about working with the family but you wouldn't know if you got screwed over by now by family members by your husband by your baby daddy your baby mama if you got screwed over i am talking to you okay and what I am saying to you is that you've reached your milestone. It is now time to branch out and find something else. Find a better partnership because this deal is a no-go. It's the two, okay? Two of wands, two of swords. What's not here is the two of cups. But then we have the ten of cups. This centered around... I even see like it could be a relationship or some shit like that. And, and your family controls okay or been in control of the way uh, things went in your relationship and it, it took a sour turn it's like a, a um, being controlled some of you you're still stuck like you can't even go nowhere because you're stuck in a deal that you signed with your family member you know what I'm saying um, in the event that you are signed to your family member, there are ways to get out of deals. Absolutely. Call the Dutch. Call Bella D. You need out of your contract. I will get you out. I'm better than Shug Knight. I will do this shit without laying a finger on you. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking wrong. No, I'm for real though. Anyway, there's ways of going about it. It looks like a deal that you just something with family I don't know what, let me look give me that devil energy make sure I 
sure what I'm trying to do. Yeah, little ten of cups again. Ooh, ooh, that could be a brand new baby. Ten of cups, nine of cups. Yeah, that might be pregnancy or some shit. Pregnancy. Maybe you just recently had a baby. Some or you just somebody had a baby by you or you had a baby. But that devil energy, oh my goodness. I knew it was there. I was gonna say it. Because I'm looking at the ten of cups and I'm like, mm -hmm. But I was trying to get away from pregnancy. But that yeah, this has everything to do with feeling control. Maybe by the child. Or maybe the child's mother feel control and is stuck to him. You're not stuck to no man just because you have a baby with him, okay? And a woman is not stuck to you just because she had your kids. She still is free to do whatever the fuck she want to do. And if you're a crazy motherfucker and you keep bothering your baby mama, baby daddy, trying to stop them from moving on with their life, you better not ever run into me because I promise you. Okay? Okay. <laughs> stop trying to control people. All right, everybody's free to live their life. You don't own shit. God owns us all. Okay, you don't own nobody. Okay, you put a baby in that person. So what? That's an agreement that you made long time ago. Little do you know. Okay, but you still don't own that person. Even when you marry that individual, you still don't marry that. You still don't own it. Okay, you don't own it. You just never own it. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You want a personal reading? All seeing uh, tarot at gmail.com. Let me know if you like this. Some of y'all gonna be like, hell no, I don't like that reading. <laughs> okay, then nah. You know you love it, goddamn. Um, because I just really went in depth a lot deeper than I usually go. I used to usually give you some shit about love and then keep it moving, you know, but that right there, that's like you know why I started doing this? Because I had a case. And when the person came to me, they asked me two questions. Okay, they came to me for the two questions. Asked me about a particular love interest. And I seen a cheating situation, right? But I didn't see the depths to how bad it was. I just breezed over it real quick because it was a simple question about that individual. But I did a second reading on them. And I'm opening cards up and I'm like, what the freak is going There was a lot of things I missed behind the scenes. Even though it never affected that person. And it, it didn't matter whether that person knew or not. It's just that once she came and actually got a spiritual analysis, it revealed the play or the design that her angels, you know, um, put together like her situation that she didn't know nothing it, it was terrible listen like that it was terrible it was ter I, I couldn't believe that I overlooked that but it wasn't important to her but for those of you that's nebby as shit and you want to be a fly on the wall I should have picked that up and unfortunately I, it took me what uh, three months maybe I'm not going to expose who it is don't worry, baby. I won't expose you. Um, I overlooked it for three months. And I just don't want to overlook anything else. Okay? So, I've learned to take my time with a reading. To be open to what the universe has for me to report. And to, to give my services the way I'm supposed to. Right. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you like this video, guys. If you would like to donate, I appreciate your donation. Any donation helps. Um, how to donate is on the left-hand side. You could also hit All Seeing Eye Tarot, right where you see the little tab. It'll take you to my page. Right on the corner of my page, um, in the eye mechanism, it says Support My Channel. Okay, That's where all donations go through as well um, on that PayPal. I thank you so much. I appreciate you. And definitely let me know. Let me hear the feedback if you guys like this so I can continue it. All right? I'll see you again very soon. Thank you, Air Signs.